Good morning, everybody. I'm reading today John 5, 11. Jesus said to the woman taken in adultery, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Also Matthew 6, verse 12, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. This is the part of the Lord's Prayer. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. There's no doubt that the Lord's command to all who would follow him is to sin no more. We have to forsake sin. By his grace, we have to overcome sin in our lives. But at the same time, I thank God that he does not require us to live in some sort of artificial perfectionism if and when we aren't there. Jesus taught his disciples to pray, forgive us our debts, forgive us our sins. If we have fallen short of what we have been called to be, we can come to our heavenly Father and ask for forgiveness, for cleansing. Of course, it would be folly to think we could extend this into believing that if we knowingly and willfully continue in sin that we will still be saved we have been called to for forsake a sinful way of life but if for example we've been less patient or gracious than we ought or if i've allowed anxiety to grip my heart so that i'm not in faith or perhaps i've been too slow to forgive someone or whatever else it is. Jesus has told us to ask for forgiveness. And if we ask in faith, we will receive forgiveness and be able to carry on in utmost joy in our fellowship with our God. Amen. Have a great day.